Welcome to all of you who have come to celebrate and share in this important moment in the lives of Annika and Devin. You bring genuine happiness to one another and you can make anywhere feel like home. You look stunning. You are each other's favorite person and it's always been that way since the beginning. Wow. You. Did we get a little spin out of you? Wow. Have you ever heard the quote, God made us friends because no parent could handle us as sisters? That's the case for Annika and me. <laughs> and if you take one look at our angelic bride, you'll know that it's me that brings the wild side to our equation. <laughs> I'll be known to the future Walsh children as Crazy Aunt Mag, but for now I go by Maggie McDonald and I have the sincere pleasure of being Annika's maid of honor. Annika has been more like a sister to me than a best friend since we met at Conestoga High School as cheerleaders. And out of those of us who are bridesmaids, the large majority have been with Annika since much before then, going back to their elementary school days, which goes to show what we all know to be true. Gorgeous. Annika is the type of friend you don't want to lose. She's as beautiful as she is smart, and she's a to the bone good person. I'm in no way suited to give marital advice, but I've heard from a trusted source that one of the keys to a good relationship is having a strong community around you. And that's one among many of the reasons I know you will have a long and happy marriage. As the father of a beautiful, smart, amazing daughter, at some point you're kind of prepared that there's gonna be some romance in her life. You're prepared for that. So let's talk about Devin. Devin, Devin, Devin. What a, what a guy. What a guy. He's bright. He's ambitious. He's respectful. He's good looking. He actually reminds me a lot of me when I was younger. So I, I believe it was all in the stars that eventually they would meet and really like each other. Devin, I feel so incredibly happy and lucky to be standing here today marrying you. I feel so lucky because, firstly, look at you. You look amazing, very handsome. <laughs> uh, but more importantly, I feel lucky because I like you just as much as I love you. You're smart, you're funny, you're trustworthy, and you bring joy and positive energy wherever you go. You're my favorite person to spend time with, even when you're trying to annoy me. <laughs> I want to say thank you because you're always there to give me a hug when you know that I need it, make me laugh when I'm stressed and taking life too seriously, and remind me to appreciate the small, happy, everyday moments. I'm so proud of the life that we've created and I can't wait to see what comes next. Annika, you look absolutely gorgeous. Standing here with you today, I've never been more sure that I'm marrying the love of my life. Eight years of laughter, adventure, and unwavering support have brought us to this moment. The day I vow to spend the rest of my life with you, the best thing that has ever happened to me. You're beautiful, smart, driven, caring, funny, whether you mean to be or not. And as for me, I honestly don't know how I got so lucky. And you've been right by my side through it all and have given me the opportunity to become a better version of myself, a version you deserve. I know I still do things that drive you crazy like not making the bed, but the good news is now we have the rest of our lives to work on that. In the presence of everyone who loves you, it gives me enormous pleasure to present you as husband and wife. You may now kiss one another. I want to take a moment to express how incredibly proud I am of my brother. No matter how big or little you are, I'll always look up to you. You may not have gotten everything you always wanted growing up, but damn, do you have it now. Annika's steady demeanor, quick wit, and infectious smile lights up whatever room she's in. 
And I only get one sister-in-law, and damn, did he hit the jackpot. You're my best friend, and I promise to never take that for granted. I promise to care for you after your inevitable injuries, to support your decisions, to have patience when you tell me to take a left while pointing right as we miss our turn. I promise to always find the humor in life, and the good times and the bad, and to love you unconditionally until my last breath. I love you. <laughs> Willy Wonka once said, don't forget what happened to the man who suddenly got everything he'd always wanted. He lived happily ever after. So, I vow to be with you in sickness, even if diagnosed by WebMD, <laughs> and in health, to stand by you, support you, and encourage you in all that you want to do, to have a drink and watch the sunset. And I promise to put you first and try my best to show you my love like you've always done for me. Love you. <laughs>